Hey guys and welcome back to a new video on this channel. So the ultimate web novel and manga scraper plugin is ready and soon it will be uploaded to Code Canyon. and this is a tutorial video where I will show you how to set it up. So let's check together on the plugin and go through steps that will help you set up it, set it up for the first time on your website. So after you extracted the zip file that you downloaded from Code Canyon, which also contains the plugins documentation, don't forget to do this step because the zip that you download is not installing on your WordPress, but it needs to be extracted and you need to get the zip file of the plugin from the larger package that you downloaded, which will be next to the documentation also. And afterwards, go to plugins, add new and install the zip you downloaded. Afterwards, you will see this new entry on your WordPress site. Please note that you will have to have the Madara theme installed and activated on your site and also the Madara core plugin. So this is the plugin that comes with the Madara theme. So after you will have this set up and installed on your site, it should be looking something like this. So this is the appearance of the Madara team and uh, this plugin will add um, manga and also uh, web novels to the, this team. Okay, so now let's go ahead and set it up. After it is installed, you will see this basic settings, the main settings of the plugin. You don't need to change anything here. Instead, you can go directly to Manga Scraper if you want to scrape manga or to Web Novel Scraper if you want to scrape web novels. So let's scrape first manga and uh, let's check the available manga here. And no manga is published now on my site. Now let's go to the manga URL search keyword field and let us set up some manga to be scraped. Note that the mangas are scraped from fanfox.net while the web novels from wuxiaworld.site. I'm sure that this is not how you pronounce this word but okay. No problem. So now here in the manga scraper we can set up rules to scrape manga by keywords or by URL from fanfox.net. So if we go to fanfox, we will see that there will be here mangas and this is a manga URL. If you click on a manga here on the main page, for example, on this one, because this is more popular and you can copy the link from here and simply paste it in the settings from here. And this will mean that the plugin will scrape this manga and import chapters from it. So the schedule is how often is the rule running automatically, maximum number of chapters to scrape. If you want to in increase this number, you are free to do it. However, also you will need to increase the maximum execution time on your server. So this is limiting the plugin from running longer times because scraping manga, which are uh, larger images, takes a longer time, especially if you have limited connection on your server. And in this case, you will need to increase the max execution time in PHP to a larger value. So check this guide, for example, and see how to increase the max execution time to, I recommend that you set here 3600, which is in seconds to around uh, one hour. But this is optional and you can check if the plugin works well for you. You are not required to do the max execution time change. Okay, so now let's set here five chapters. For example, this is just for demonstration purposes. And the status of the manga should be published automatically. Manga author should be uh, admin. And here are some more settings. Reverse scraping is checked. If you uncheck this, then the latest chapter will start the scraping process. And if you have this checked, then the oldest chapter will start the scraping process. So chapter one, 
chapter 2 and so on and if you uncheck this then the latest published chapter will be scraped first and the chapter number will be decreased from there on automatically by the scraper search results type so these options are in effect only if you have here a keyword search so if you search by url like i do this time then these will have no effect so i will present this when i will do a keyword based search here okay so now let's jump here to additional manga genre you can set a genre to the manga that you create auto add genres from manga genres which will be scraped from the manga also auto add tags from manga genres like here additional manga tags you can add a manual tag list content scraping method to use you can use wordpress the default which works very well in most cases but if this will not work for you you can install phantom gs puppeteer or use even headless browser api to scrape content but usually the wordpress the default method will work for you enable comments ping back trackbacks get published date from manga if you want to set the published date to the manga you can do this here and set a warning message to the chapters you can also add this feature this is a madara team feature okay so now let's save settings and let's run importing here and the plugin will now start scraping this specific manga and it will post our uh, images to the server and it will import this manga with its chapters now so if we check the manga here we should see now that the manga is scraped and the chapters are still importing so if we click on the manga here we will see that it has a featured image description and many many options are available here and the chapters list will be started to be populated so if we refresh our site and go to chapters we see that chapters start appearing also on the front page of our site if we go to the manga where the mangas are listed we can see that the manga is published with the chapters that are available and also the five chapter scraping finished so now let's go ahead and check a scrape, a scrape chapter for example this one and we can go ahead and paginate here also we can jump we can change style how these uh, mangas are displayed and chapters are displayed so on a list style or a page style and we can jump between chapters very easily okay now let us go ahead and set up also a keyword based search because i promised that i will do also this so let's search for naruto for example and let's scrape five chapters of naruto also the settings are similar and we can have here some advanced settings for uh, keyword based manga scraping so result type manga chinese or korean or any search manga author if you have a manga author from fanfox that you can use so keep in mind that fanfox is used uh, for scraping and if you have an author from fanfox that you wish to import uh, manga from you can add him here artist the same genres exclude manga genres or search manga genres release year before after minimum manga rating this is a star rating from one to five so one to five only search completed manga only uh, results sorting name rating views chapters latest chapter results results ordering ascending or descending 
maximum number of manga to scrape. So if you do a keyword based search, then multiple mangas might be returned for this keyword because as you will see, multiple mangas will match the keyword Naruto. So let's say I want to import two mangas and cache items to continuous posting. If you want to remember from where the scraper left, you can check also this checkbox. Okay, so let's save settings and let's import some Naruto manga right now, shall we? So let's run importing. Notice that this is how you start manual rule running. So click on select an action and run this rule now will manually trigger scraping. However, if you set up a schedule here, the plugin will run automatically after this number of hours only for all the rules that you have created. So these are two options, manual running from here or automatic running from this uh, field. Okay, so the mangas are scraped. Now let's go back to our manga listing here and uh, there you are the two manga that matched the naruto keyword are imported so naruto dj siasuke and we can read first and this is a spin-off manga from naruto it seems and the two manga that we scraped are imported because you remember that maximum number of manga to scrape is set to two okay and also here in the scrape manga list the scrape manga appeared with artists authors genres and so on okay now we can uh, go back and check also web novel scraping so this is done from vuxiaworld.site um, this is a web novel uh, website, so let me open this site up real quick. It is a similar structure. Please note that currently the web novels from here are not supporting uh, keyword based search. They are supporting only URL search. So let's enter a URL here. Please don't enter keywords for search right now because these are not supported only urls but you can enter also a comma separated list of web novel urls so for example this one and another one which has a different slug here okay but now let's scrape five chapters of this web novel also advanced settings note that here you will have only these limited settings because keyword based search is not supported for novels currently so save settings and we can run importing and let's start scraping this web novel right now so if we go to our site we should see the web novel appearing and here it is 24th century and this uh, Gogurieo word okay and uh, read first and here it is the web novel finished scraping and the five chapters that we said are already imported to our site okay so this is how the plugin will automatically scrape the web novels and manga for you so you can increase the chapter count here or you can set it to automatically run and each time it runs you can set it also to one hour and each hour it will bring five new chapters to your site also in the activity and logging section here you will see what the plugin processes so it started processing this manga and afterwards it went to naruto mangas and afterwards it started processing this web novel and it imported these chapters also you can delete all posts generated by this plugin and all manga and uh, all web novels and you can restore default settings rules currently running 
which will display the rules from the scrapers that are running and some system info from your site. Also in the main settings of the plugin that we skipped until now, you can set a headless browser API key. This will help scraping if you have difficulties with uh, accessing this site. And if you set an API key here in headless browser API, don't forget to set also the content scraping method to use from here to headless browser API, which are disabled now because I haven't have added here an API key. Manga storage device. These are the storage devices that are set up in the Madeira team. So to appear here Blogspot and Google Photos like in my case, you need to go to the Madeira settings from here. And uh, in the Manga, WP Manga Storage settings field. So this is where you will find the setup for here. So go to Manga, WP Manga Storage and set up here your keys and access info. So Im Imager, Flickr, Amazon, S3 and Google Photos or are supported here. Set these up and the plugin will uh, start listing the supported storage devices here. And you will be able to also upload to these uh, cloud storage devices using the plugin. So run uh, logging for rules, detailed logging. If you enable these, the logs will appear here. And if you disable these, then the plugin will not log anything. Automatically clear logs every once in a while. Proxy address list. You can add a proxy with uh, this format, IP address and port authentication username and password for the proxy timeout for running how long can the plugin process importing of manga or of text novels app before it is automatically stopped and timeout for one request in seconds is this is for only one request also if you have phantom gs installed on your server you can set up its path here which should uh, go directly to the server path where Phantom GS is installed. But as I said, this is optional and timeout for Phantom GS execution. You can set a timeout in milliseconds, but these are also optional settings. So what you can uh, check is, are these two menus. So Manga Scraper and Web Novel Scraper. These two can be set up and these two will function for you and uh, work on importing content from uh, manga sites and uh, web novel sites. Okay, so yeah, this is all for this plugin. I hope you enjoy it and you will benefit from its features. So go ahead and uh, start your first manga site right now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel to get more updates and similar videos. Have a nice day. Bye bye.